Hello, catch em all fishing fans. If you like eating catfish, you will definitely enjoy this video. Let's catch em all with Catch em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Chunks, some of the best catfish bait is just chunks of rotting fish. Oh, real, 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 you got. We got what we got. Real, 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 reel them all the way in. Oh no! No, he's right here. No! Oh, he's right here. Oh! Oh, oh I got him. I got him! Yes. <laughs> I think you might be getting eaten. Oh! Nice. Get him in here. Flip this one. Nice. Let's see if we can get this one without it falling out. Yeah, that is a fatty. Yeah, manhandle him. Nice, on the same bait too. It's all right, we're gonna eat, we're gonna, we're gonna eat him anyway, so. Whoop him, whoop him, just reel him all in. That's that saltwater rod. Oh yeah. That's three for three, that's gonna feed the whole family, dude. <laughs> run, they run. Is this, there anything sharp? Th there's a, they're a little bit sharp, but not crazy. <laughs> Let the world know I got her to do this. <laughs> before you go to sleep? This is the last you're gonna get before you go to sleep. Huh? <laughs> Wait, no, don't fly away. No, no, no flying away. Here, take some more. <laughs> Alright guys. Bonnie and I, well, Bonnie, caught some nice catfish today. As you saw in our last video, the link is in the description. The monster peacocks and carp, stuff like that, whatever. Caught some monster catfish. Boom. Sorry, not monster, but healthy. Healthy eating sized catfish, I should say. Because these are far from monsters. <laughs> Perfect. Boom. Oh, yeah. Ready to go. Take a look at these three up close. We want to serve you. We, we really like catch em all fishing fans, and we hope you enjoy this video. Alright, guys, so we have our three channel catfish we caught. Bonnie caught, anyway. Bum bum bum, one, two, three, we just gave him a little rinse off really quick. It really doesn't do much, but it always makes me feel better. <laughs> All right, guys, you need a sturdy knife. I like a sheer scissors. Those are your tools you need. Oh, sorry, can't forget about your handy dandy pliers to rip the skin off. All right, so we're gonna make our cuts right here. And right here on the other side, down the spine, backward, you're basically going to have a, a cookie cut of the side of this catfish, okay? So, let us begin. Feel where it's soft, get soft right here. So, we're going to start right here. Boom. If you get, if you puncture the, the guts and stuff, it really doesn't matter. We're, we're going to try to get this guy whole, that was the request today. From my grandmother and my mother. They wanted us to go out there, catch some catfish for them, and fry them whole for Mother's Day. Okay, cookie cut. Like I said, right down. Oh. Okay, if you missed the mark a little bit, gonna be some blood and some guts. And don't worry about the fins, that's what the scissors are gonna be for. So, you got it all the way down here. Make sure you have a good grip on this, guys. You're gonna be messing around with this knife. Catfish are really slippery, so as you can see, right? Just almost slip. Okay, we're good to go. That's one side, right? Now, we have our pliers. We're gonna grab the tip of the skin and just rip it on, oops. Rip it on, rip it on off. There you go, just like that. One side done. Same thing on the other side, cookie cut. Remember, cookie cut. It's all about the cookie cut. 
down the catfish. Okay, here's where the meat is. We're gonna go right here, same way. There, there's a ridge cage. We're actually supposed to go right here. Rib cage is right over there. Okay. Okay. You got lucky. Oh, geez, almost messed that up. But almost doesn't count. Except for hand grenades. Then almost counts. Um, make your cut. Cookie cut, guys. Cookie cut. Want to mess any of the meat? Remember, fins save for the end. Use a scissors. Trust me, it'll be totally worth it. Okay, back to the pliers. Get tip. Get a nice little grip with that. Bam! Just like that, boogie woogie. All right, back to our Vader knife. Now we're gonna chop right behind this fin. That's the dorsal, right? Yeah, dorsal. Chop right behind that. Break that backbone. We're good to go. Now we're gonna cut right there. This is all trash. Trash, trash, trash both ways. Right up to that second fin. Now this is a channel cat, guys. So, just like that. Head, don't need it. Unless you're gonna make some soup or something nasty, I don't know. <laughs> Chop off this tail. Not much meat in there. Bam. Any fins left over, here's where the scissors comes in. Just like that, any excess skin you might see, just snip it off, give it a nice little haircut. Anything you're missing, just like that guys. Simple as that. All right. Just make sure there's no blood and guts inside. You don't want to taste any bloody catfish guts. That'd be kind of sad. Boom, boom, boom. Dig it out. Use your hands. Comes right out, no problem. And you have a nice, fresh catfish to cook fry up whole. Remember, if there's any excess skin or anything, just use your scissors, chop it all off, but boom, baby, two seconds. It really, catfish is one of the easiest fish to clean, honestly, with that skin. No scales, two seconds. I like to give it a little extra time to rinse, make sure all of that stuff is gone, and we are good to go. And we're ready to fry. All right, guys, so we have our three whole catfish all skinned and cleaned, gorgeous. I'm gonna put them in a little bit of milk, let them soak for a good half an hour. I like to have all my fish soaked in milk. And what I do is a little trick. I actually add a little bit of water to my milk so it's still getting everywhere if I don't have that much milk. Like, I don't have too much milk, but I'm, I'm good to go right now. So if you don't have enough milk on you, if you just happen to go home and you weren't prepared, just add some water, add as much milk as you can to that mixture, and then throw it in the fridge. All right, I'm gonna put this on medium high. Bam! Canoil, 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 canola oil. I'm gonna use canola oil. <laughs> All right, filling up the pan. So no splatters, I got the splatter guard. Putting that cap on the canola oil so I don't knock it over and ruin my entire day. While that's heating up over there, we're gonna get our catfish. Hello, Mr. Catfish, how are you doing? Well, not too good, you chopped me up into a million pieces. Don't complain. All right, we have some milkified, nice whole catfish, guys. You like that word I made up? Milkified, the catfish do. Okie dokie guys, we have our all purpose flour, our seasoning, you can use whatever you like. I'm actually using, what am I using? A garlic sriracha seasoning, and some cornmeal. Let's 
not get the cornmeal all over the place. All right, so we're gonna go with one part cornmeal and one part flour. If I can get it in there, because flour is my nemesis since I was a young child. Wow. All right, cool. A little bit more. Success for not getting flour all over the place. Yet. Okay, good. Season that up. Show no mercy on the seasoning. Yeah. Oh, baby, get yourself a nice big old gallon of seasoning like this. Fill it up. A little bit more. How are you like? Bam! <laughs> is that guy still alive? Hey, if you are, I did that one for you, Mr. Bam, whatever your name is. Shake it up. Mix it up nice. Well, it's good to go. Now, throw in your whole catfish. And three. All right. I like throwing even more seasoning because I love seasoning so much. Okay. Closing the bag. Shaking it up, baby. Should be evenly coated. And guess what? You hear that? You hear that? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Listen, listen. Get close, get here, listen. Oh, a little trick. Oh, save yourself. I'm putting a little too much water. But that's how you know that your oil is ready. You're putting a little drop of water, and it boils like that. I almost burned my fiance. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this filet. Look at that. Um, ready to go, bread it up. There's one more thing I probably should have done before breading them. What you really want to do is cut, slice them down so they don't get uh, so they don't get all the oil absorbed in them. So let's see, got a knife somewhere around here. Cleaned. So get in here really quick. You're supposed to slice them up. I forgot, so I'm just gonna do it right now. Make them look like your favorite swim bait. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that before. I'm gonna rebread them really quick. Because I completely forgot, guys. I'm so sorry. But make sure you don't forget this part. And me forgetting will probably help you remember, right? It's a win win. Last catfish. Ready to go. We're gonna get some new paper towel, obviously, since I did forget. How could I silly catch them all fishing? Bum. Give it a good couple shakes since we failed. Alright, guys, so gotta shake it back up because I did forget the slices, but it doesn't matter. I didn't put them in for any amount of time at all. Battery back up. Get a new paper towel. And we're good to go. All right, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful whole catfish. One. Woo -hoo. That is gorgeous. That's not nice sizzle. Get up close. Have a good meet and greet with that sizzle. <laughs> Oh yeah. I like to give it four minutes on each side. I think you're supposed to do it three minutes on each side, but I want my fish to be blackened. Well, catfish is all done. Time to shut off the heat and remove the meat. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at 
that. I'm telling you, the re re flip. Look it up. Catch them all fishing. You saw it here first. Ooh, steaming, baby. Steaming. That's gonna calm down. Uh, I'm gonna cook one more for my grandmother and mother tomorrow because they specifically asked for one. But this is our little dinner date. Hey. Hey, good looking. Hey. Alright. <clears throat> I like to give this meat a couple minutes to calm down, maybe like literally a minute, minute and a half. I want it super hot, but I don't want all that grease all everywhere, so I'm gonna let this grease settle into the paper towel, and then we're gonna eat it. And we are ready to serve. Ah, looking good. And not just the fish. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're gonna try it. First time trying catfish, fried whole? Yes. Yes, it is, and she caught it. Ah. All right, let's see. Let's do it. <clears throat> it smells great. Guess what? It tastes even better. Man, that is fresh fish. It's really good. It's really good, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll take one. <laughs> catch and cook, baby. Yeah. Now you guys know how to catch it, and you know how to cook it. If you missed it, check the last video. That's how you catch it. She caught most of them. We caught some other beasts, too. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you guys joining in. Hope you learned something new today, as always, and catch them all. Catch them all! Catch them all fishing. YouTube and Instagram. You like this song, right? The light and calm. Mm.